Hey everybody, welcome back to Samsung in a Minute, the channel that trains you on your Samsung Galaxy devices, one topic or one feature at a time in a consumable fashion. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you're able to edit photos and take a look at them side by side so you can see the original as well as the edited photo. Now you can see exactly what I've done here. So I took a look at this picture, which is the original, and I wanted to get rid of those two photo bombers in the back. And then also I wanted to get rid of Matty K's drink that he had in his hand. So this is how you're able to edit photos and take a look at them side by side. This video is being done with the Galaxy Z Fold 7 with Samsung One UI 8. So we went over to a Yankees game and I was able to take this picture. I thought it was a really good photo because these guys right here had the exact same phone, the exact same color, almost taken the exact same image. But then I noticed that I wanted to maybe get rid of that drink right there in Maddie K's hand, and I wanted to get rid of a few photo bombers in the back. Now, if you remember, when you do the generative edit, you would always have to tap on the show original and then let go, tap on show original and let go. And that is a way that you're able to go between the two photos, but it's a vertical situation. So you can't see both of them at the exact same time. So all I'm going to do here is simply tap on the people right in the back. And then I'm also going to circle this can because I want it to be specifically only the can to go away. Also, I don't really want his hand to kind of just be up like this. So hopefully Generative Edit will put it down on his lap just like it did the first time. Now, after we do this one, I'm also going to do another test where I cover my face and I'm going to see if it'll be able to fill in the rest of what it thinks I should look like. So this is just a regular situational uh, image. We're at a baseball game. So there you can see the drink is gone. He has a little bit of a you know, wrinkle in the shirt. It's able to fill that in right there. Those two people back there are gone. All of these things are all filled in the way that they are supposed to be. But if you tap right there to show the original, this is how you're able to see the difference between the two at the exact same time. So if there's any additional changes that you would want to do, you can see exactly where it is that you have to do it. So how about we go over just one more example, and that is a picture of me. So I went right there, covered my face, and I wanted to see what Generative Edit would do. I know if I changed my lighting, uh, it would probably see my beard a little bit more. I have a feeling because this is a darker image, I got a feeling that it might actually shave my beard off, but we'll see. Maybe it catches it. Uh, I've actually never been clean shaven uh, for as long as I can remember. I think it was back in maybe 2012 or 2013 where I last shaved. So we're gonna go through, hit on generate, and see what comes from this. Uh, we'll see if it's embarrassing or uh, or not. <laughs> oh man, that is what I would look like if I was clean shaven. That is crazy. And it put my arm down too. So it made everything look almost natural. Here is the before and here is the after. It brought down this entire thing. And there we go. Uh, that is the, uh, the power of generative edit when you are deleting something from an image. I know that sometimes if you do this with a different brand of phone, uh, kind of like from the fruit company, it's probably gonna make my entire face just all blurred out. But here we go, it actually gave me a face, it uh, gave me a clean shave, and it gave me my full entire arm back where everything is just down and natural. So this is how you're able to take a look at both images, the before and the after at the exact same time. So they're not vertical where you have to go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. But hopefully you guys have appreciated this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit subscribe. Subscribe on the very bottom left hand side. And if you like this video, the more than likely you'll also like this video. And I'll see you guys later. I got tons of soul on my true collective ball Famous, also famous, number one desirable Out of what I want, when I want, and how I want it Leave you with the one in the air, that's how I want I got tons of soul on my true collective ball Famous, also famous, number one desirable